What was, what was it like for you, uh, you know, just getting back out on the field and, and playing somebody else? Oh, man, it was exciting to be out there. I mean, it's been almost, you know, a year and a couple months, and it was my first Division One football game, so it was just a, a surreal feeling to be out there and finally play for in front of, in front of Idaho State fans and in front of everybody. You had the, the big run stop, I think, on their first series on third down. Was that, you know, just the ability to go out and hit somebody and in the corner, you don't get to do that all that much. Did that really help you get into it? Yeah, that, that especially that early in the in the game. That one gave me, it, it took the butterflies away. It took me, it made me feel comfortable again. And uh, it just made me feel like I can play my game again. They were taking, um, you know, they just, they just kept coming after you guys on the deep shots. And I know Josh got beat on a couple early. They hit mm -hmm. one on you in the second half, I think. Did, were you expecting that from them? What, what was it like going up against a team who was that um, focused on attacking deep? Yeah, Weber State. They would. They did their, their offensive strategy was a lot of uh, verts, a lot of deep balls, a lot of. That's how they usually attack us. Um, they wanted to run the ball, of course, and then they started picking that up, of course, in the second half. Um, first half we did it was, of course, well, um, guarding the run, and then uh, their game plan, of course, was they seen a freshman out there, two freshmen. They were gonna go. They were gonna go after him for a little bit, and he knew. Josh knew that was gonna happen. So, uh, but we 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 were planning. We were game planning for just vertical attack. Hey, Jaden, um, just with you guys uh, really having to like stay in a bubble and um, not being able to go out so you uh, keep testing negative for COVID, is that bringing you guys closer together as a team, you think, and helping with your chemistry? Um, I'd say it, it brings us together knowing that there's a lot of, a lot of complications out there. Like uh, there's stuff you don't want to, you don't want to test negative and be out for two weeks because then of course that's two games right there and that could, that's almost half the season. And you, you don't, it, it, it does, I'd say it doesn't bring us together because we also have to stay apart and to do social distancing as well. But I think it does bring us together knowing that we have complications out there and people, they want us, they, they're coming after, the COVID's trying to come after us. Obviously you guys are trying to have a really strong defense this year, but do you have any um, personal goals set for yourself for this season? Um, I just, I'm just trying to be the person that I am, the player that I am, the, the player that they brought me here to be. Um, I just want to be, of course, the, one of the leaders on a team. Um, I want to, of course, uh, personal goals, all-conference player first, and then we'll work on to maybe All-American later. But when we get there, we'll get there. We just have to get the first game over with. Uh, Coach Fennessy, I always like to say you improve the most from week one to week two. Um, personally, what, um, what do you think um, you'll need to, uh, need to work on, and, and uh, what do you think you're – you know, now that you got your first game under your belt, how do you think, how you approach going into week two? Uh, I think we approach week two is just my, uh, what I do is one, I get, we got to get 1% better every day. You know, Rome wasn't built in the day. So that's how I attack it. We're just going to get 1% better every day. If that, if that depends, or if that depends on being uh, watching film for two hours, understanding formations. If that means going on as a field and working on my hands, working on my feet, um, just things like that, just to get better at just one percent. Well, and then your your first taste of you know the the rivalry with Weber State. Um, you just kind of talked about you know maybe how you felt um, now that you've uh, you've played them and, and kind of uh, you get to play them again. And how, how does that um, does that change anything as far as like you know you usually don't play the same team twice in a season. Maybe you know what are your thoughts on that? Um, great. I'm grateful to play again. You know, they're the number two team in the nation right now. So I'm, I'm excited, you know, I, as coming out as my first game going against the number three team in the nation, that's just, it's just a glimpse of what I can do and what our defense can do as overall. Um, and I, I'm, I'm actually happy to go against them again. I want to, I want to, I want to get that challenge again. I want to play them again. I, I don't want to go out there and let them do what they did to us last, last week. Like I asked TC, I mean, just what's your process for sort of correcting the mistakes, you know, working on specific things that the coaches are pointing out, you know, week to week? Um, just a lot of film review, just a lot of film review, you know, put your head into the film, just watch. I mean, I already watched the last game already about three times already. You know, it's only been a day since it's happened, but I already watched it about three times and it's just, she had to pick up on things. And then of course we're just going to figure out those mistakes and we're just going to improve on them, you know? 
how do you translate sort of that that film study to the to the field? Um, just translate it just uh, by incorporating, of course, what our we like what TC said. We also have some of the best coaches in the Big Sky. Just incorporating what our coaches says and is implementing it to to our game plan and implementing it to how we attack things and how we prepare for things.